The song is called Let's Take a Walk. Um, funny enough, it came about um, in 2021, but I didn't really release the song. Well, I didn't release the song until last year on um, Chasing Rabbits. And this came like, I would say a week or two after like the anniversary of my mom's passing of the first year. And I was in this mode where I didn't know what to do. I had a really in-depth conversation with my grandmother about life, right? And um, at the time, there was some other like stuff going on, but I came to the realization that there was a lot that I needed to figure out in my personal life, and I needed to like reflect inward about things, and then just kind of recenter myself and refocus, and then refine my and like my my close circle. So I was just doing my normal thing uh, at the house and I was just going through samples and really just like how it always starts with is always for me, it always starts with the, the sample, right? This one day I was just summer, just trying to figure out things and figure out my new movements. And this random sample came out of nowhere. I feel like YouTube algorithm knows exactly when to like give me the perfect sample. To hear this, it was, it felt very like, like I could do it like a storytelling thing, right? So I started to figure out like the chopping of the samples and what to loop and what to use. And it started with this. And then I got the first line out and it goes, peep the vision, a swan flying over the water. Hold on, I'm, I'm messing up. I, I gotta like figure this out, but yeah. yeah it starts off with, Peep the vision, a swan flying over the sun and water, French kissing. The stone in the back hitting the mouse Davis rendition. Just listen. It's tough. And it just, it is, I started to play around with the idea of like, where do I want to go? And this also reminded me of Action Bronson. And it gave a lot of, you know, blue chips, rare chandelier flows, and just alchemists. And I was like, cool, I can try to tell a story, but, you know, the, the theme of it would be me talking to myself. After the sample was finished and the, I think the first like six or seven bars were written up, I then moved on to the hi-hats. And a lot of times they say, you know, the kicks can give you the bounce. It's to me like the snares can really help with the groove of a, of a song. The, the hi-hats had a, it has a simple, simple cadence, right? And I'll just add little things here and there. It's like adding flair, like pieces of like, like pins and stuff, just to give it more oomph. I then moved on to the, the snares and simple, just a simple pattern, just literally just the every other, I wanted to do something crazy, but then I realized this is not about the beat, it's more so about what I'm saying. Uh, and they gave it like a little groove, you know? Mm. And then once I had the hi-hats, I was like, all right, cool. I can add the like the emphasis. I can put the, the kicks in. And normally when I add kicks, I always marry it with the 808s and just do something simple, right? So. I, what I would do sometimes is take a copy of the kicks and then put it into the 808s themselves. And I would just copy the pattern and then mess around with the melody of the 808s on the same octave or the, the key it's supposed to be in. What came about was just a simple... Uh, Close your eyes. Yeah. Close your eyes. Obviously, 808 is low, so the bass is always low. But I wanted to have a grungy bass. I didn't want it to be a smooth. I wanted to feel abrasive, and I wanted to. When you turn it up in the car or in your headphones, you could feel it in your body. And that's the whole thing with this song: is you feel it 
you feel what I'm saying, you feel the music, you feel the environment. And it tells, you know, it comes together as a complete passion. It tells a story, right? But I was like, this is missing something. If the verse starts off and it feels like I'm at a restaurant, right? If I'm talking to myself, if I'm doing this thing where I'm trying to be more introspective and, and, and tell a story, it needs to have some ambiance. So I was like, okay, let me go ahead. Like years ago, I did this thing where I had this one song that I dropped for Valentine's Day and I put like a restaurant sound effect. Mm -hmm. And I was like, it'd be cool as shit if I did that. So I just went YouTube, found it, took it. And then I just added that to it and it gave it more so of a, like if you were in a Godfather and it was like a specific scene that was important and it was very dialogue heavy and it gives it this environmental feeling. It feels like sunset and it's just a packed restaurant. There's people eating. And then the the sounds that are closer seems as though it's coming from the person speaking and the person is listening, right? So I'm like, damn, this this made me feel so good because it gave me this, again, this Godfather feel where I could sit there and like express through this song and make it feel as though it's something you're watching, right? The last thing that was needed was a tag. And at that same time, I was going through a change of changing my name so it wasn't going to be master mode anymore right it was going to be ayo kev but ayo kev is something that my uncle in a video you know he always calls me kev my family calls me kev people close to me call me kev so i was going through this thing of like trying to reinvent myself because i didn't know what was going on i don't know what direction it's i need to do something new right master mode's done and then i kind of got clowned about it i digress it was I went back, all that to say, I went back to Master Mode, but I left the AO Kev as a tag, right? And it just hit and something sparked like Jimmy Neutron, that Eureka, that, that brain blast moment. And that was a tag. So literally the, the last part of everything piecing together was my uncle just saying AO Kev. And... It's like telling myself to focus on what I'm saying. And I was like, shit, bet, <laughs> you know? Look, peep the vision, a swan flying over, the sun and water, French kissing. Gaston in the back hitting, a Miles Davis rendition. Just listen, he's off by a hair, but his breath exquisite. See, he practiced, I could tell I've been visiting for two months. The waiter knows me well, see, I'm usually here for lunch. Try to eye, he tune this here, just trust me.